It's a place for children and families to have fun, but now an employee at the Boone Shaft is under suspicion for a sex crime at the museum against a four-year-old child. New tonight, our Rhonda Moore talked to some parents visiting the museum with the kids today. At least all of the parents and grandparents that we talked to today did not know about the allegation until we told them, and needless to say, they were surprised. We come about once a month. On any given weekend, you'll find lots of children and parents at the Boonshoff Museum. We love it. Uh, it's, uh, we feel like it's safe. Uh, the girls like it. They always have a good time. We're usually here for about three hours. So. Beatrice Ghanem brings her five-year-old twins to the museum. She just heard that a worker at Boonshoft is being investigated by Dayton police for gross sexual imposition against a four-year-old visitor at the museum. I just feel like we probably would be more careful, but that, that doesn't stop me from coming. Uh, I would still come back, but... Uh, I mean, I feel like parents have to be very careful with little children. She says something like this could happen anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. You know, there's always going to be bad people everywhere. Police were called out here to the Boonshoff Museum last week. Now, according to a museum spokesperson, after the allegation, the worker was immediately put on administrative leave. I was uh, somewhat shocked about uh, the allegations, but, uh, you know, the justice will prevail. The museum issued a statement saying, in part, it is cooperating with authorities and that its goal is to ensure a safe and healthy environment for all visitors and students, and there will be no further comment. Aquini Robertson came to the museum with his wife and granddaughter for the first time. I think that's a shame that it happened and, you know, they get to the bottom of it. Now, the people we talk to say their advice is to always keep an eye out on your children. They say don't let them out of your sight no matter where you are. They say you need to stay with them and keep in mind you need to do that again no matter where you're at with them. And, of course, we will keep you updated on this case. In Dayton, Rhonda Moore, Fox45now.com.